Hello ladies and gents, today we're looking at something a little bit different it's uh, a Yamaha sound amplifier um, this particular model is a DSP AX759 where's the autofocus? 759SE um, but apparently there's several that are similar to this and they all suffer um, the same issue which is basically if we come over here uh, and look inside I mean, here's the whole shebang, but if we look down on this bit here, um, it's this capacitor um, which will give up and basically cause, uh, let's just find the, find the plug, plug it in, switch it on, and if we come to, come to power it on down here, it doesn't work. So apparently, according to the internet, when we replace this um, this capacitor, this will work. So let's get this unplugged. It's got some of the replacement capacitors here. So let's try and take off the old one, put on a new, and see what happens. Right, so the first thing that I want to do is try to remove this one. Um, so the best way to do that is to first cut these um, these legs so that I can remove one at a time. Get rid of the old one. We'll put some flux down at the solder joint. take a bit of leaded solder and add that to the joint and this is going to make make it require less heat to get these little legs out of here find a decent pair of tweezers. I might just be able to gently pull on here whilst we heat this up. Yeah, and slide that out. Do the same on this one. I'm going to add a little bit more flux to these and I can try and just braid this old solder out the way just like that, I don't know how clear that is on the camera but that's made, um, that's made the holes nice and clear make way for the new uh, capacitor and you just slot the legs through these holes again add a little bit more flux flux with everything come back here and add the new solder Leg one. Leg two. Because 
a quick brush with the alcohol. here when we come to turn it on and if you can see the screen now but this now works turn it off turn it on And there it is, that works. So to tidy this up, to finish it off, we'll just cut these legs off of here, and then we can put the casing back on, and uh, that can go back to the customer. And that is the end of the repair. So yes, if you've read online that um, changing that capacitor will fix these Yamaha amplifiers, um, there it is, it's a five minute job, um, very easy to do, and uh, there you go, you've seen that it works. Thank you very much.